What's up guys, it's Rocco B here and I'm going to be telling you about all my mods, how much they cost, where to get them and yeah, let's get into it. So this is my Mark 7.5R, it's a 2018 plate. So what we've got is a carbon fibre front bonnet with a very nice stone chip from Scotland and we've got a zero gloss black splitter. What else have we got? We've got carbon fibre fenders. These are sick because the like the vents just look so good. And you can see the tie for it. You can't really see it well in video, but we've also got carbon fibre wing mirror caps, carbon fibre side skirt, side skirt, should I say? They don't really fit properly, but we just bang them on. We've also got wind deflectors because I hate when it's raining and you can't open the window because you get wet. Um, interior wise we haven't really done much it's better in here but we've got a carbon fiber led steering wheel we've also just got some normal black paddles i want to get carbon ones in the future but they're like 300 quid so i'm not really on it at the moment um also got a steering lock we got my lock we also have the acropovic exhaust black box with i've also got a custom res delete and a 3.5 inch custom downpipe on this Honeycomb reflector delete things. I don't know what the proper name for them is. We've got the private reg. We also have a carbon fiber spoiler. We have two full ZF6 wheels, uh, 19 by 8.5J. They are ET35 and they are on Michelin PS4S tires. They weigh like 9.5 kg each. They're really lightweight wheels. And I'm going to be changing them soon, so look out for the video on that coming up. They should arrive this week, so hopefully we can get them on soon. They're going to look sick. We have got airlift performance suspension. We've got the 3P kit performance bags. They're my favourite thing in the whole wide world. I definitely need them because there's so many speed bumps in London. I can't leave my house without hitting speed bumps and I want to be low. So yeah, they're like a must-have for me. But I highly recommend them to anyone. They're set up right, they'll handle good. A lot of people get them, or they get the slam kit, which don't handle good, or they get the performance kit, set them up themselves or something, and then they do not handle good. Like my friend, my mate George set them up on his Mark 6 GTI, and I understood why people don't like bags. My car is a mess, but this is the LF Performance boot build that I have. It's just a basic boot build on it, like a show car, so I don't really need anything fancy. So that's got a suspension and then we've got the rear seat delete there which is just like clean we got rear wiper delete because that's weight we have also got a zero diffuser which just came out under the bonnet we have an r600 intake a forged turbo elbow what else do we have? We've got, we're running low on screen wash at the moment. My car keeps reminding me every few minutes. We've got a forged engine, piston swords, all of that. Because obviously, if you watch my previous video, I explained why I blew up my old engine in Scotland. Um, we've got a, you can't see it, but we've got an air tech in the cooler down there somewhere, which I had to buy twice after. <laughs> I had to buy it again after my engine blew up because metal went everywhere. Um, that's it really under the bonnet. Oh yeah, let's talk about power. We're running about 400 brake at the moment. We're a stage one, one and a half, two-ish, I would say, because I've got maps without an intercooler. But then we put that on after. We do zero to 60 in 3.3 se seconds, which is the fastest I've got so far. I feel like that's going to get worse when I put on my new wheels because they're going to be heavier. But once we do go big turbo, then we will be making more power and get better times and all of that. So yeah, we're still on stock turbo. Because I've got adaptive cruise control, I had to get a DCC cancellation kit when I changed my suspension that cost me £288 and it's fucking shit, I've broken it. One of them fell off the strut. You have to plug them in on all four struts. One of them fell off, cut the wire, tried to fix it. I'm gonna have to replace it. So yeah. 
I've got a DCC cancellation kit also. So there we have it, that's all the mods on my car. I'm gonna link everything below where I got everything and you can check it out and who worked on the car also. Their ads will be in the description. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe for more. And yeah, I'm gonna try to be more active on the YouTube and post a lot more videos. So yeah, let's get it.